video showing a chilling crime, a mother allegedly pushing her autistic son into the water before running away screaming. Police say that was the mother's first attempt to kill her son. Just so heartbreaking. Now she's charged in his murder. Local 10's Janine Sandwood is live in Southwest Miami-Dade with that heartbreaking video, Janine. And this is where nine-year-old Alejandro lost his life on Thursday night. But police say before he drowned here, his mom tried to drown him at another body of water. There is video, and we have to warn you, it is disturbing. The video is shocking and heartbreaking. We're told this is Patricia Ripley walking with her nine-year-old son Alejandro on the bank of a canal in West Kendall. She's stroking his hair, looking around, and in a single move, shoving him into the water. She kind of got up, like started screaming. My, uh, she called his name a couple times, but she, it was weird. And then she turned around and like ran away screaming. This witness, who doesn't want to be identified, trying to make sense of what's happening. He says Ripley returns with a bystander. And with another man, they pull Alejandro from the water. Here you can see they dry him off. Neighbors say mom and son then leave. Kind of stripped him down, dried him off, and just she just walked that way. The older couple went into the first hallway. Police say this was Ripley's first attempt to kill her son, who was autistic and could not speak. About an hour later, they say she led him to another body of water at the Miccosukee Golf and Country Club. His lifeless body would be found the next day. Investigators say Ripley initially told them a bogus ambush and abduction story to explain what happened. <laughs> setting off an all-out search before she eventually confessed, telling detectives Alejandro's, quote, going to be in a better place. She now faces a charge of first-degree murder and attempted murder as a community grieves the loss of a little boy. And in fact, the memorial here in southwest Miami-Dade for Alejandro grows with flowers and balloons. We did speak briefly to a family member earlier today. She says she can't say much on the advice of lawyers, but she did say that the family is doing what they can to keep it together. We're in Southwest Miami-Dade. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.